Okay, so there's some whitewashing that's going on about the Montgomery, Alabama incident. So watch this video and then we'll talk about it. All right, all morning, the only conversation and the only videos I've seen on the feed all morning are this whole thing with the Montgomery brawl. And here's my thoughts on this. Had, these, had this had happened, flip the script for a second. Had it been a couple of black guys on that boat and, and a, a black guy assault a white security guard and then a bunch of white folks came to save the day and beat the shit out of a couple of, of, of black folks, including women. I mean, that woman got fucking slacked with a fucking lawn chair, with a chair. I mean, just the whole thing was ridiculous, but just switch it for a second. Had it been the other way around, you wouldn't see all these white folks across the internet celebrating it. Like, yeah, they deserved it. Yeah, we stuck together. This is what we got to do. No, the whole thing is wrong. The whole thing is fucked up because you guys are celebrating this. It was wrong. Had they had just stopped the altercation and it been at that, then that would have been handled like adults, like mature adults. But instead, y'all continue to beat the fuck out of these middle-aged to older people. There was a couple of younger guys there, but two of those ladies getting smacked by chairs? Come on, man. And what situation is that right? In what fucking world are we going to celebrate that? Because I'm telling you right now, if it had been a bunch of white folks fucking beating the shit out of a couple of black kids out there and, and hitting an old black lady with a fucking chair across the head while she was laying down, not fighting, this would be an entirely different story, whole different situation. So you guys are celebrating, jumping on these people, but really, you all should be embarrassed. And everybody who's making videos to, to fucking take up for the whole thing, you're ridiculous. You're all wrong. Now, Chris, I'm not here to harass you, and I hope you're learning something from all those comments that are on that video. But based on your follow-up video, you're doubling down. Let's watch this clip. Here's a really another good one. Uh, I'm going to respond to all of these because I feel like you guys need to kind of have a better perspective. Keep your mouth shut. Racists got what they deserved, period. You sound racist with this take. No, I don't sound racist for this take. I sound logical because I look at the facts. I've watched all the videos. I'll say again, those folks that started this altercation with that bodyguard were in the wrong. Okay? No doubt about it. But for you to throw out, oh, racists got what they deserve. At what point in any of the fucking footage did it become apparent that they were racist? That their intent was, was racist? They were all drunk adults. Somebody, that bodyguard, may have disrespected him and how he asked him to move the boat, may not. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you right now, that started a fight, and then it brought in a bunch of other things. That... Okay, Chris, so as someone who is continually learning what it means to be anti-racist and wants to be a helpful ally, what I hear in your two videos are a lot of patriarchal talking points. So let's see if I can help you out here. Okay, the first thing you do in your video is ask people to flip the script and you can't do this. That doesn't work in this situation and whether or not you like it, you have to put this situation in context because really what you're doing here is whitewashing. First of all, you're in the deep south. Secondly, you're in Montgomery, Alabama which down the road is the Legacy Museum, which is the museum that tells the history of slavery in our country. It was intentionally placed in Montgomery because of that city's history with slavery and how many people pass through its ports on their way to slavery here in America. And whether you like it or not, you have to look at this because you're in the Deep South. Racial tensions are at an all-time high here in America. And you have a black man who is obviously in a position of authority, who is wasting a lot of time and using a lot of words to try to get his point across that the boat needed to be moved. And you're saying that this got out of hand, that everyone needed to act like adults, but it's clear that the men in the pontoon boat were doing the opposite. They were ignoring his requests and he had to continually come back to them and talk to them about moving the boat. But you really revealed what you believe in your second video because you casually tossed out an excuse for the white drunk men to attack the guard by saying perhaps he said something that was disrespectful. 
Chris, I'm inviting you to see that that is an indoctrinated belief that is entrenched in white supremacy. The guard is in a position of authority. He can say whatever he needs to say to get those men to move the boat. No one has come forth to say what those men said or what the guard has said, but yet you throw that out as a lifeline to those drunk white men. Now I'm also pointing out that they were drunk because you seem to be using that as an excuse for their behavior, and it is not. These men, whether they were drinking or not, attacked this guard, and that is going to be seen as racists. When they chose to physically attack him, it's going to be viewed through the lens of racism because they had a choice. They had a choice to honor his demands for them to move the boat, and they did not. That guard had every right to think that he was going to go to work that day and be able to do his job, but instead a group of white men chose to show him that he didn't. Chris, this is a different world that we live in. When a racist song by Jason Aldean hits the charts and white people defend it, when the state of Alabama is restricting voting rights of black people, when racial tensions are escalating due to the fact that people are whitewashing black history, are eliminating DEI programs and voting for racist politicians, then white men, no matter how drunk they are, they do not get a pass. Chris, you're as white as I am. We are not the ones who get to say whether or not this was a racist incident. Now you end your first video by saying that basically everyone that is sharing video clips is wrong. So I have no idea whether or not this video is going to find you or if it's going to have any impact on you. But if you are willing to learn and listen, here are some black creators that I'm going to invite you to follow. This is Khalil Johnson. He has a great video and perspective on the Montgomery incident. This is Goddess Mia, and she makes amazing content to help educate white people. This is Levert, and you better bring pencil and paper because you are going to learn something with every one of his videos. And this is Donnell Wrights, who just did a great video about the Montgomery Brawl, but also makes amazing content that will be informative for you. So white people, this is our opportunity to learn what it means to be anti-racist and what it means to be a helpful ally. So please watch these videos that are being shared about the Montgomery Brawl and learn.